Hello everybody, welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. Got a very special guest in the booth with me tonight. Hello, Table Leg Wanger. Well, hello there. How are you doing on this fantastic evening? I'm doing great, thank you very much, Table Leg. Fantastic to have someone of your stature, uh, both literally and figuratively, in the booth with me. Absolutely glorious. I've come fresh from Bean Manor. Let me just tell you, that I can't divulge, I'd signed a dis non-disclosure agreement about what happened in there, but it was wild. <laughs> oh, baby. I'm here to watch some action. Oh, well. We're, we're going to start the night with uh, Mr. Jim McMahon, who's returned from the dead. So it's going to oh. be interesting to see what he says to the Jeff W. I, I want to know how that's possible. I know, right? <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, this was this was uh this is uh, I'll tell you I'll tell you about this after the show. <laughs> there you go. I feel like the opportunity for spin offs is endless. Yeah. Let's let's get let's get to ringside. This guy, I love his waistcoats always. He's always, always dressed. <laughs> God damn it! I'm back, you sons of bitches! If you think you can take me out with some massive explosion, you've got another thing coming. Some people just don't fucking die. Well, God damn it, I'm one of them. I tell you what, I'm 570 years old. I'm going to keep surviving. And my first order of business, my glorious Jim's of the Ring Memorial Rumble. I can't believe that that toxic showboat... Wait, what? what's going on? God damn it! Teresa memes in my earpiece. She says she's, she says she's the new GM. And she's not, she's gonna fulfill her contract. She's not gonna step aside for me. God damn it. That's a disgrace. Well, anyway, PTK, how dare he powerbomb me out of the ring at my own memorial rumble. Well, I was gonna get cock and ball torture to take him out for me, but Theresa Mames keeps talking in my ear and she says I've gotta fight him myself. Well, God damn it, I will. And I'll do that in the next match. Let's go, PTK, you toxic showboating piece of crap. See ya. I said see ya. Wow, wow Gibbs is back and he's angry. <laughs> he's really angry. <laughs> Yes, unfortunately, um, you can't have male wrestlers call out female wrestlers. So I was going to have him call, like you know, call out Theresa Mame and then do a back and forth, which would have been hopefully hilarious, but couldn't do it. Jim's would have Jim's has dodged a bullet there. Then I, I suspect. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, you know, you're going to fight P to PTK. Hashtag no hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is it. This is. Uh... <laughs> well, yeah, my, yes, my voice would have been the loser in that, <laughs> in that feud, certainly. <laughs> but yeah, so it is the owner of the company, but not the general manager. Uh, Theresa May will not give up that spot. She's going to honour her contract, <laughs> just like her campaign promises. <laughs> which Obviously, the JFW has got a lot more integrity than the WWE, <laughs> yes. which cancel contracts on a whim. <laughs> do they do, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, an absolute whim. You've got to be joking me. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> There's Jims. He looks up for it, doesn't he? He's looking pretty rowdy. Jims is rowdy, and I tell you what, the, this guy, I don't, he's 570 years old apparently. The bumps he takes. Oh, <laughs> my joints ache thinking about it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he's he's taking he's taking quite a few. I remember one time, uh, Mr. Jim McMahon ran into the ring and tore both his quads. <laughs> 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 but but <laughs> but 
then he took a, a, a horrific bump off the top rope onto the outside. <laughs> oh boy, it's, it's Big Kev. Glorious. God, I love I love Big Kev's solo entrance. Like as amazing as amazing as dance it's, dance. It's so good. Now. It's 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 so good. I mean the the both the, the both is the ace in the cake for me. I think, but um, <laughs> but you know, I, I heard that PTK was going to dress like this for Jimmy Come Twenty Twenty Two. Oh, let's hope he does. <laughs> that would be a sight for sore eyes. That's uh, not a predic prediction. That's a spoiler. <laughs> And I'm not talking about the, s the plural of Saurus. <laughs> <laughs> that's just a little. That's just a little GW joke <laughs> for those in the door. Yep. <laughs> oh dear me. Oh man, the size of PTK though. He's a he's a monster, isn't he? Six foot seven. I, I seems little to me. <laughs> oh not, yeah, well you're six nine, aren't you? I think I think he's only six six actually. Uh, there's, there's not many I'm going to give the the tall attribute to. I'm afraid. No. But Crusher, who you beat on Monday, he's tall, isn't he? Crusher is a big lad. He is a mino, though. <laughs> he is. Yeah, he's not a human. Yeah, to be fair, <laughs> he is not human. Um, Goliath. Goliath is tall, isn't he? The Goliath is tall. Yes. <laughs> I, he's taller now that I stretched him last week. <laughs> oh, look you should thank me for that. Uh, <laughs> Muppet asks, "Can he be tall?" No. Uh, it's 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 unlikely, friend. Oh, dear. oh God, you, look at you, that! Brutal you can be t tall in courage, Muppet, and that's the yeah. that's that's the biggest thing of all. Yeah. Oh, look at this, Un Mr. Jim McMahon unloading on PTK's back, but then. Big Lariat puts him down. James McMahon loves to unload on all of the wrestlers' backs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's like it's about third place, isn't it? The back, the way, <laughs> the way you can unload. <laughs> I don't. At his age, I'm not sure he's fussy. He's just happy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess third or fourth, depending. Anyway. <laughs> This girl says he's may not be tall, but he's still riding high. <laughs> yes. Anybody in within an eight foot radius of you indoors is riding high too, Skuro. <laughs> tall in zombies, absolutely night demon, and murderous intent to kill the boss as well. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Skuro, that's true. <laughs> Never, never once have I heard such things. It's not like there's a hundred plus vods that would, would disprove that. <laughs> yep. Oof, brutal. Jim's uh, really yeah. taking it to PTK. He is. Let's, yeah. let's not forget, Jim's looks small in this match, but he is jacked. He is absolutely jacked, yeah. Some people say he's, he's taken steroids, but uh, he's never had to take a test, so that cannot be confirmed or denied. <laughs> oh, the he has... Splash. He has special little juice boxes that are just just oh, supplements mate, like um, vitamins and minerals. Yeah, yeah, he takes his minerals. He's not a lot about him, mate. <laughs> <laughs> eat your vitamins, vegetables, say your prayers. That's you'll end up being as jacked as gyms. <laughs> yeah. Going for the uh, what the uh, camel clutch, wasn't it? There, unbelievable. But K Fog powers out. There's only one submission you need to go for. Why are they not doing it? The old half crab. Devastating. The devastating movie. half crab. <laughs> Look, if you do a full crab, chances are that crab is still alive. How many half crabs have you seen that are alive? <laughs> None. That's the point. <laughs> How many muscles have you seen on a 570 year old jacked, roided up meathead? This. some. <laughs> he's in the middle of the ring now. Oh, what's he doing? <laughs> Is he, he's like a cat playing with playing with a string. <laughs> like pawing it. He is, yeah. J Jim's oh, the got too close brain to worms. Edge. Some people say that Jim's was the originator of brain worms. He developed them in the eighteen hundreds. <laughs> he was born the brain worms. <laughs> <laughs> Moulded by them. 
by the time he'd seen a normal brain, he was already a man. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I've got no idea, Ducky, but we've Oh, here we go. The choke oh. slam from PTK out of nowhere. Ooh. Can Massive. he capitalize? He's stumbling around. Oh, he needs a breather. Oh, PTK. Terrible. Terrible ring awareness there, wasn't it? Oh, PTK. Look at this from Jim's. Oh, the power. <laughs> <laughs> the Tower of Power. Oof. Oh boy. Yeah, I think we've had it once, yeah, school. Oh, here's the comeback. The flying the flying clothesline. Oh my god, another ultimate splash. Is this it for PTK? Some people say that Jim's actually trained the Ultimate Warrior and uh, Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I believe that's true, yeah. I do believe that's true. Not that you'd be able to tell anyone train the Ultimate Warrior, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he watched some tapes of him mm. and thought, I could do that. Mm. And then he, got, he also drank some juice boxes. <laughs> he did, yeah, yeah, those juice boxes. Yeah, they are very good. They're really Moorish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was amazing, Ducky, wasn't it? Oh, here we go, another camera clutch. You can almost hear... With a camera, camera clutch, you can break their back, make them humble. <laughs> exactly, you can almost Jim, hear Jim saying that. <laughs> He's just whispering in his ear, no hate. <laughs> Hashtag no hate. Oof. Hey, folk fighting back. And obviously this is real, so they, they wouldn't speak to each other, but if, if it wasn't real <laughs> and PTK was speaking in Jim's ear, Jim's would reply that he couldn't understand his accent and that it was <laughs> terrible content. <laughs> well, they're, they're probably trash talking to each other, definitely not <laughs> yeah, definitely yeah. not uh, conspiring to do moves together, just just talking in each other, you know, trash talking each other, saying I'm going to kick your ass or something like that. Jim, that sounded exactly like Jim's. So that's that's probably what would have happened. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, the only thing I can ever picture PTK list is saying is "Hello, little wrestlers." <laughs> that's pretty good. I, ju I, I just want him to say that on loop over and over as I go to sleep. Oh man! <laughs> Let's ask him to do it next time he's streaming. <laughs> please, please do. TK, what's he going for here? Oh god, he's going oh, for Oh, this is one of my favourite manoeuvres. <laughs> oh, a flapjack. Jim's comes Jim's back. Though. Back up. This is More agile than people 15 times younger than him. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, yeah. Oh, there's Mrs. Wanger. <laughs> oh. Welcome, welcome. Oh dear. Jim's people people of the JFW universe, please do not tell Mrs. Wagner where I've been earlier today. <laughs> Remember, snitches get stitches, people. <laughs> yep. Oh, Mrs. Wagner. <laughs> He just, he just randomly, uh, you know, we were, we were in trouble here. El, El Meme, I think he was getting some tests done at the hospital or something. He wasn't able to join us at ringside. And uh, Table Leg, you know, stormed through the back and uh, came out. Outside. Well, we've had some bad weather, haven't we? Maybe he's migrated early. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> he is just a fucking seagull, after all. Oh, the fall away slam. Shades of JBL. Love that move. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure which I enjoy more because 
to be fair, you know I'm a stylish man. I, I like to see what ring attire these guys have on. Obviously, PTK is a slam dunk, 10 out of 10. I'm not sure which I like more. Jim's is uh, re ready for action um, ring attire here, or perhaps his uh, ready for business attire that he, use he sometimes wears. Yeah, I do, I do like the ready for business one, but I feel like, you know, when he knows he's got a match, he's got to come out ready to fight, hasn't he? He does. <laughs> Good evening, Foxomania. Oh god, there's no chairs. They're just they're just they're just levitating. <laughs> did, you, did you see that? <laughs> Amazing. It, it's actually a really good exercise for the thighs and you know the quads. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but his back wasn't on the his back wasn't on the air, on the wall, so that's Well that just imagine how difficult that is. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. This oh, this god. is the kind of athletes we're dealing with. <laughs> PT going for the moonsault. Oh, nails it! Oh, sign up for the plimp on loser weight. He's clearly 190 pounds. <laughs> yeah. An elbow, a boot. Glorious stuff from PTK. PTK, I think PTK is playing with his. Oh, it's the trapezius claw. <laughs> the classic. We've seen this end matches. <laughs> we sure have. <laughs> I think, I think, I think PTK is showboating. <laughs> I don't think he's got any, oh, 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 I've just spoken, but look. Oh, oh boy. He's going for the, just a huge, oh, just a jackknife powerbomb. Yeah. Oof. Oh, Jims is a machine. Jims, <laughs> is Jims really alive? <laughs> That's a good. I think you're just powered by hate and greed at this I, point. I, I, I believe that that is fake news. <laughs> you can be mine. Dimmy! Thank you very much for the raid. Glorious, Dimmy. Uh, PTK doesn't have Kane's move, but he just he's just dressed somewhat passing resemblance to Kane. Uh, definitely not just recolored. Um, he has he has a uh, oh Vader's Vader's moves. I would love to see Kane oh, with those uh, ankle boots. <laughs> it's glorious, isn't it? <laughs> oh. oh man, I can't play this. Should I play this now, uh, Skuro, the thing you sent me? See what I mean with PTK? He's not staying on him, he's just he's just showboarding them. He Has he got something against Jimps? Maybe. Let's, let's listen to this. You won't hear it, I don't think, Langer. Wow! He, he said it. He said what? He says, "Good evening, little wrestlers. What can oh, I do for you?" Oh, baby! <laughs> it's really quiet, but that's amazing. Holy shit! Baby, right? I need that <laughs> just for the just for the personal collection. <laughs> oh, it's from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, of course. Of yeah. Course, yeah. When he's the, it's the innkeeper. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't just making it up, out them. <laughs> yeah, I remember now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. Mr. Jims with the old glorious celebration. Look at this guy. Oh, baby. <laughs> you have to excuse Jimmy Ventura. He's a bit slow. Yeah. Oh, we also need... He just need... needs his juice box. <laughs> we also need... You're in a sippy cup? <laughs> yeah. A little sip? Yeah. We need uh, two else we need. We need uh, mushrooms. <laughs> see, that would also be great. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the more I've been oh, looking the more since the Dimmy Immort lately. <laughs> it's pretty good, isn't it? It's, it, it's concise, it's to the point, and I, I love the the voice. Yeah. And oh baby, we've got physics versus Dimmy just in time for the Dimmy raid. He's just in time to catch himself. Versus the man who kind of invented gravity, but also he was forgotten by gravity. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> I'm not sure how that works, but you know. Yep, I know. Is it like is it like sixty percent of the time it works every time? It's something something like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> 
Sir Isaac Newton. <laughs> he's, he's almost as old as, as Mr. Jim McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's quite the barnet. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Do you know what's amazing is that he look he looks quite a lot like Sir Isaac Newton, doesn't he? But his face is actually John Deacon's. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pretty great. They basically look identical. Well, Probing stick, yeah, he's, yeah. Hello, HTK. He's got a nice little, uh, nice little dildo there, hasn't he? Thin, but uh, certainly long enough to, uh, to do some things with. <laughs> Hello, Frosty. <laughs> do you have any examples of the things you could do with it? Uh, not that we can show right now. Oh boy, the, what, some of the oh, best music in all the sports entertainment. You know what that means? It's Dimmy 316. I mean, one of the best slogans in sports entertainment too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Glorious. Dimmy! What a badass. He's chairproof. <laughs> Has anybody actually hit him with a chair? <laughs> yeah, he did get hit with a chair, I'm sure. <laughs> no one hits Timmy with a chair as hard as he hits himself with a chair. <laughs> oh, oh, <dear. laughs> and he's building up that chair resistance, like the bullet resistance. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's why he's chair proof now. Is he like building up to like get hit by the 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 Iron Throne? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For sure. He'd walk straight through the Iron Throne. <laughs> one, one would think maybe he started at the Jojo with the small children's chair, chairs there. <laughs> For sure. Oh boy. Look at this. Physics. Oof. Big I love the green trim. Very stylish, very snappy. Yeah, nice. I'm glad you like it. I, was this, gonna... I, I mean, this, this ring announcer guy, sign him up. The belt's the scorekeeper. This guy is a is a prospect. <laughs> How the fuck is he doing that? <laughs> it's, it's, he's not even shaking. He's been there 20 minutes. That core strength is out of this world. <laughs> I tell you what, I've did, I've done I've done similar things in Tabata, and I tell you what, this guy has got me beat on all levels. Oh wow! Dimmy! With a massive counter there. To physics. Physics is a physics is a tall lad, you know, he's about six foot eight or something, I think. Big big fella. Big fella, but he doesn't have the early two thousands classic jorts. <laughs> he doesn't and, have... I, and I feel like that's what this match is gonna come down to. Dimmy. <laughs> yep. You're aware that, you know, I do I do observe and comment on WWE as well. Yeah. Um and you know that I can tell what Randy Orton's going to do based on his attire. Yes. You know, it's very important <laughs> to assess a man. You know, some men come out and you know, they, you know they've probably wore the same outfit the past three, the, the th past three cities. <laughs> yeah. You know, they're just phoning it in. These guys, they're here for it. They're dapper, aren't they? Yeah. They've, they've been bought from Primac this afternoon. <laughs> It will show his dedication. The queues are three hours long. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's true. Dimmy's nothing if not dedicated. Well, except he's not a good wrestler. But you know, he won. He won the Blitzpit match at WrestleMania. You know, day one WrestleMania, he won. I know. It was it was an incredible feat. And his reward is this match against Physics, who. Uh, you know, rare one-on-one -on -one matchup for physics. He's been consigned to multi-man matches where he struggled to make an impact. But now he gets to go one-on-one -on -one with a champ. Well, that's what the GFW is all about. Is it? It's it, it's it's people that having a match every so often to show their worthiness. See if they can grab that brass ring. You know. <laughs> Absolutely. 
I believe it's brass balls in the GFW, isn't it? <laughs> That's true, yeah. Especially if you look good luck getting them to before before Moradam gets to them. <laughs> and and let's be honest, for for you YouTube viewers, there's 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 more than just the product product put out there. You know, there's a proving ground before these shows. If you've got to tune in live on Twitch for that. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much, Wang. Yeah, some great advertisements. Be sure to check out twitch.tv forward slash Jimmy Fantastic. Glorious. The only place to see the pre-show wank. <laughs> yep. And sometimes world-class Wednesday. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> While we're here, let's talk about the phenomenon that is Dave. <laughs> Dave. That, the, Dave is more... Is, I think is taken off more than the yes movement, and I think that, I think that other than myself, of course, who should be, always be all ch all title holders, including the Plim Plum Plum weight, when when I hand you a, a false win, um, other than myself, I think I, I think that that guy is destined for greatness. Yeah, maybe he's certainly he's certainly taken off in popularity, didn't he? Dave, oh, got to look at this though. Oh. Dave. <laughs> <laughs> what a Look what a this. superplex from right. the top row. Yeah, physics there using gravity advantage there. Yeah, yeah. He knows what happens when you've got apples in the air and when you've got Dimmy G in the air. Which one lands first? <laughs> <laughs> Dimmy probably. <laughs> which falls? Which which hits the ground first though? A thousand pounds of apples or a thousand pounds? Dimmy. Oh, look at that! The green apple! The green what? apple! <laughs> He's got Oh, it's over! <laughs> what a manoeuvre! Unbelievable! <laughs> Dimmy! Physics, what a performance, what a win! Oh, look at that, that chest glistening. <laughs> a victorious glisten. <laughs> yeah. Dimmy wants to shake hands. Well. You get a bit of respect from the big man. Oh respect and respect back. Love to see it. Love to see it. <laughs> yeah, quite the performance. From both fellas. Very aggressive. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> with the chair for fuck's sake it's doing well next match oh boy <laughs> oh <laughs> it's rude Han up against Das Hats they lost their title well they didn't lose it they lost the titles quite a while ago to, to Break and Storm they were unable to reclaim them at Wrestlemania and now they've got to prove themselves worthy of a, re of a match against CBT to take it off them and they're going to start with the ham, <laughs> the big ham himself, Holt Fords, and Rude Boy well, Shawnee. I tell you what, I mean, I mean, if you look at the record books, obviously they're the greatest of all time, but they're having a bit of a rush, rough patch right now. Yeah, that's true, I mean... And if anybody likes anything rough, it's big ham. <laughs> that's true. And you can't be a three-time champ without losing it three times, right? So that's the It's thing. true. That is the thing. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if they can get back on the road... To, to further greatness, or if they'll if they'll come unstuck against the fucking boiled egg. <laughs> Is it me, or does anybody else feel funny inside looking at Big Ham? Oh, I think everyone does. <laughs> I haven't felt like that since I saw a picture of Vin Diesel holding a barrel of nuts. <laughs> you know you feel funny when you see that picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. The gyration. <laughs> it's glorious, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's great how Sean looks pretty bored and just like, you know, doing it because <laughs> he'll get sacked if he doesn't. But Fall Force is fully so enthusiastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good clean family fun right there, people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, it, 
you've got to be made of absolute stone, Ducky, before you can <laughs> not feel anything on that. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Here he is, the country wizard. Recently banned in CCL for conceding too many times. Really? <laughs> yeah. But this guy is. is from the country. <laughs> here he is tonight, though, to summon his weird cowboy buddy and kick some ass in the JFW. This cowboy disturbs me. <laughs> he's pretty. Di he's pretty disturbing, isn't he? I just a cowboy that growls at me. I just it, it worries. It troubles me to the soul. <laughs> Taking the art of country, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the art, to be fair. <laughs> but some some uh, some sacrifices had to be made as we enter the PG era of JFW. <laughs> Indeed, yes. Yeah. Of course, this is the PG era. So imagine what uh, what the R-rated version would be like. Exactly. Yeah, we're still out to say fuck. <laughs> oh, there's no, there's no Davina McCall check. There's, yeah, yeah, you can still say, you can still say fuck up, bugger. Oh, but, uh, well. but just not something that sounds like country. Well, you know, I may be get gigantic, but I feel like if you swear, it's probably because you're not articulate enough to express your point of view. Yeah, that's a very good point. That's a very good point. But also, um, sometimes. I, bet, I mean, Ori, Ori does does evoke. <laughs> yeah. When you look, when you look like Eric Cantona, yeah. some people are gonna. <laughs> uh, some, some people, by definition, are just that word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, Chip. <laughs> uh, Chip with the lowest common denominator there. <laughs> Ori Dabs jumped in. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me. <laughs> the JFW universe comes in all shapes and sizes. It sure does. Ah, no discrimination, no hate. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Thanshin. The boiled egg himself, look at that. Oh, baby. The big ham. Oh, and the pig. The big two-handed, well, two-person body drop. It's got to knock the wind right out of him, hasn't it? Absolutely. And as you know, Ventura, I'm a bronzed god. But uh, interesting fact is my feet look exactly like Fault Force. <laughs> exact, exact same colour. Oh, wow. Are they, are they as well-oiled? Unfor well, fortunately not. But they do look like they've been stitched on to to what was otherwise a uniform body. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh, dear. Just a little fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> your feet look like Fault Force feet, or your, ent or your entire foot looks like the entirety of Fault Force's body. <laughs> I, I can't dis I can't I I can't differentiate between the two. <laughs> oh man. Fault Force looks like they need some vitamin D. Fault Force is always in search of a little bit of vitamin D <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I've always heard him saying he wants more D. I, I assume he meant vitamin D, but <laughs> It's very important. <laughs> In comes the cowboy, Loon Gary. Oh, he misses with a stomp and allows Shawnee to get in, who runs around. <laughs> oh, no, he's knocked him over. A different response is evoked when I look at Shawnee with his man bun. <laughs> yeah. I can't, can't use the hashtag no hate there. <laughs> This, the full crab, Wang, you're not a fan. <laughs> Fault, 
So close. <laughs> so close to perfection. <laughs> The extra grab there wasn't really necessary. It wasn't, no. He just, he just likes touching. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> He's a lonely cowboy. He gets summoned from God <laughs> knows where. Yeah. I've seen Brokeback Mountain, so at the end of the day... <laughs> they do train by like going fishing me. together, I've heard, so... <laughs> They've gone fishing together? Yeah, Ori Lensis and Ian Gary, they go fishing together for oh. training camps there. That's what I always heard. Oh. <laughs> the locker room. <laughs> oh, trying to pull I wonder how... head off. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. Tosses him off like it's nothing. But if there's one person who can take the punishment, it's Ori. Yeah, he is. He is. He is. He's resilient, if nothing else. Yeah, look at Lean Gary here. He's just walking in, ready to split up that, but doesn't split it up. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Bit of brain worms. This is Ori, forgot to pay. Ori left Lean Gary with the bill last night, clearly. <laughs> yep. Bit of brain worms. Shawnee, can't the crowd get them worked up? Oh, oh, my God. And he gets instantly disqualified. What a fucking idiot. Doesn't even care. What? I mean, I mean, this, what, this guy's from the country as well. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, man. That was amazing. That was amazing. Uh, it cleared me of the ref. Yeah, he didn't do anything. He just taunted the crowd and then just went for it. Oh boy! But anyway, what that won't happen in this next match because this coming match is extreme rules. Purple Chest has called out Chunter many times on social media. Purple Chest is looking for a feud. He said that Chunter is uh, not the best blood bowl coach in the world and is rubbish with goblins. Wow! Fight and what talk. a bold claim! That is fighting talk. Yep. I, I will say that this uh, match is endorsed by the color purple. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah, very purple. Um, and Chunter, Chunter said that uh, that people who coach dwarves in Blood Bowl are compensating for something like people with big cars. There you go. He said that. Well, I've got a big car, but I would never ever coach dwarves. <laughs> there you go. You see, Dorf, 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 famous, famous for loving dwarves. And yeah, he took offence to Chunter's attack on dwarf coaches. But let's. Well, be it honest. seems like it seems like there's a lot of blood, blood, bad blood here. Absolutely, and let's be honest. Make no mistake about it. Anybody who's ever coached dwarves is absolutely subhuman. Absolutely, it's one step down from Norse. <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're basically just slow Norsemen. Disgusting. It's. It's it's disgusting. Would you want to see that? <laughs> no. Absolute disgrace. I hope Chunt has still got his entrance. It's it's interesting to see where uh, how how do you what do you see who's like whose side do you do you fall on in this one, Jim, Jimmy? Uh, I know that I know that you host both of them on the red. <laughs> That's true, but I, you know. On the other hand, I just hate I just hate Skaven as well. You know, like uh, Chuntery has one CCL, but let's see him do it without someone who's fucking movement nine and edge four. You know what I mean? Like, come on, oh. it's just fucking cheating, isn't it? It's just cheating. No good, mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's just cheating. It's just it's just cheating. I tell you what. There's a lot of undesirables in this GFW. <laughs> and I caught a bad rap. <laughs> well, you did you did betray Jimmy Fantastic, didn't you? But uh Well, you know. That's a, that's a hard the, swill for, a hard pill for a lot of people to swallow. Them's the bricks. <laughs> Jim, Jimmy's used to it after I bought a Chrome Box for ten pound fifty off of one of his friends. <laughs> yeah. Didn't speak to me for five years. <laughs> Another, another wagger fact there for you. 
<laughs> just, to complete, just to complete the hat trick of Wanger Facts, my favourite colour is also purple, so this is a great match. Oh, wow. Is there room for this much purple in the JFW, though? One would say that there's, e there's room for even more. The ropes could be purple. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> that guy is quads are DOA now. He's gone. <laughs> it was just too much for him. What, an, what a performance. A performance of the night so far, I think. Absolutely. Look at this. Chunter just can't, can't budge PC. Oh, but he goes to the knee of the old man. Yep. Why? Trying to reduce that movement stat. <laughs> yeah, he's already movement four. And he's trying yeah. to get it yeah. even lower. Couple more of those, and he'll have to get full plus to get up. <laughs> yeah. Two purple headed warriors banging it out. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that is what we wanted to see, HTK. <laughs> oh, God. Look at this. Sword fight. <laughs> Sword fight. <laughs> Oh man, PC taking over here, isn't he? Oh, the early taunts. I love an early taunt when it backfires. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Just like here. The sneaky, the sneaky rat slithering out. But uh, oh. some say that Purple Chest is the best pure striker in the JFW. <laughs> it's true. Some say that Dodge needs a nerf. <laughs> yeah, they sure do. Including, quite possibly, the greatest of all time. The greatest man to ever lace up the boots. Studman dude, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, quite Studman dude, bro, famous for his April Fool's joke that says, Block and dodge affair. <laughs> Only joking, April Fool's. <laughs> yeah. It was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. I love that. Holy shit. Blodge is fair. Oh, April Fool. <laughs> and yeah, you know, good runners, they can get blood or Rodge, can't they? And either way, it's pretty disgusting. One skill, you know, move nine out of four. How can you back them? Absolutely. I mean, does anybody like anybody called Roger? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, Skuro, Skuro likes Rego. <laughs> Oh, well. Oh, Lord. <laughs> well, uh, likes is a, maybe an understatement. <laughs> yeah. I heard that uh, Skuro had retired from the GFW um, to pursue a career stalking Rego. I believe so. Yeah, he's like he's like that uh, like that guy with all of the things you know and that the meme. <laughs> <It's just> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's like that with a million pictures yeah. of Rego. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Tombstone Pile Driver! Tombstone early! Oh, this could be it. This could be it for Chunt Marino. Oh, it there is. you go. Strength two, no good. Oh. The block and tackle doing the job. Despite the disparity in pace. I mean, if you pay for dodge and someone's got to tackle, that is cheat. <laughs> the game for free. That's true. The uphill block not working out for once for Chumner. I think it would have been a different story if he'd have had a wizard in his corner. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Oh, yeah, good match. Should have got banged on. <laughs> he did indeed, yeah. Love to see, love to see scaling the mountains. <laughs> The old man loving it. It is. Is he? Uh, is he? Is this a new uh, blind look sting? I think it might. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, isn't it? It's a bit different. It's a bit dodgeball, isn't it? <laughs> it is a bit dodgeball. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And next up, we've got Flicky Flack versus J Five, accompanied by the Snackers. Well. Yeah, uh, the new world champion, Johnny Five. Of course, he won at Mania. Somehow, well, I say somehow, beating Night Demon. He did pin Night Demon as well in this this, this massive Clash of the Titans. The Snackers versus Six Feet Down Under. 
and uh, you know, he, he won fair and square, didn't he? There was a big match around it, but ultimately he made the pin, got the one, two, three, and got the title. It's, yeah, I mean, results speak for themselves, but uh, will he win clean today? That's the question. And Flicky Flack won the Gyms of the Ring Memorial Rumble. He did. This, this is non-title. And he wants that title back. <laughs> yeah, he, Flicky's desperate for this title again. He lost it the first time he won it. And he really, he's desperate to win this title. Of course, you need, he, if he wins this title back at any point, you can imagine the PowerPoint presentation that's, oh my oh God, my, what's this? It's Peppered Biscuit. Oh boy, they had a match on Claw. Flicky hasn't seen him. Oh, God. Every fucking time. <laughs> oh, boy. What the heck is that in the ring? That's the pyro for Flicky's entrance. Oh. oh. Now it's disappeared. Oh, boy. This PB is jacked. He is, isn't he? He's massive. Look at the definition. <laughs> the striations. <laughs> What's in those pepper biscuits? Is it some? Is it some juice? <laughs> yeah, I think he's got juice boxes. Yeah. <laughs> the special kind of pepper. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. He mainlines the roids. Night Demon says. <laughs> and Night Demon would know. Oh man. Oh no, PC. It was a classic. Let's just say advantage you in the grudge. <laughs> yeah. Flicky's managing to fight back here. Flicky's a big dude. He is, yeah. He's got a lot of power and he's... <laughs> oh, that, that one was just crushing him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not forget, he's the only murderer in JFW history. <laughs> On corn, he beat him on stand firm, but he's not getting his match against J5. <laughs> but <laughs> Jesus Christ! But on now, you assume that the buffet truck is going to get the a battering from the snackers in the meantime. Yeah. But now we've got the main event of the night: Night Demon, the former world champion, versus Rick, the new extra arms belt champion. Non-title action here. Uh, Night Demon got over his loss to J5. He says he's coming after the Extra Arms Belt Championship, and well, he's got a match against him tonight. Well, this looks like it's going to be a storm because both of these are, 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 are absolute units, and they win for fun. <laughs> yeah. I have a question though, Jimmy, because uh, obviously I'm a guest commentator. I don't know the stats and statistics, but uh, do we have any Grand Slam? I predict four champions? Numbers. Yet in the GFW? Not yet, no. Uh, oh, who's the closest? Ooh, that's a good question. Because what a feat that would be. We talk about greatest of all times in the tag team division a lot. But you know. Yeah. Who who is the greatest GFW entertainer of all time? It's a good question. I, I feel like Tony has probably won, <laughs> won more than anybody in everything when you went it all together. Um, it's hard to compete with Tony. EAB has been monstrous, but of course he'll never win the Plim Pom Blues away. Um, yeah. Muppets, maybe he's got the advantage there. I, I, I don't know. It's, that's very interesting, isn't it? What would you call the Grand Slam? Would you call it um, or the like the three main the three main titles, or would you call it the four main, or would you call it everything? I don't know. But, I mean, when you look at it, YPA, they've they've won the uh, they've the Foxomania has won the EAB. Belt and uh, JBG tag has titles. won, yeah, and JBG has won the world title, and then they both together won the tag titles. So, you know, they've and kind they've both of, been in, they've both been stream champions. Yeah, yeah. So they've they've won a lot. Oh, yeah. But in between all of that, Night Demon donated five hundred oh, bits. Thank you very much, Night Demon. He predicts fall zombies. <laughs> what, what a G. Yeah, absolutely. Incredible, thank you very much, Night Demon. Cool. Hold on, there's a Fault Force in the chat. Oh, wow, a wild Fault Force appeared. <laughs> hello, Fault Force, hello, fucking hell. Now, he's another guy that 
probably feels the way I do about swearing. <laughs> Mr. Nice. <laughs> it do be like that. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, Moridam has been pretty great. Yeah, he's won the tags, hasn't he? He's won. He's won the cruisers, yeah. and he's. I'm sure he's won stream titles, and maybe he's main belts before. Something. Like yeah, that, you've got to throw a win rate in there as well, don't you? Yeah. yeah. It's very complicated. Very complicated. It needs a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> yeah, we need to get flicky on it. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. The Rickroll T-shirt, glorious. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, the pe the strength of Night Demon. <laughs> this, of course, the only Rick Roll I'd be disappointed to receive. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I've never understood the Rick Roll phenomenon. It's like that's just an added bonus, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like here's a, here's a video, like cute kittens. Oh, it's a Rick Roll. Oh, well, that's just improved the video. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Oh god, no HTK. I, I can't have a beadless space cadet in the JFW. It's too too uh, too disturbing. <laughs> There's lines we cannot cross. <laughs> I don't know if you know Wanger, but uh, Space Cadet recently shaved his beard in real life, and uh, he looks oh, like he's can, about twelve. <laughs> that can't happen. <laughs> exactly. Marbles after this may be faulty. Maybe. Oh, a cheeky game of marbles. <laughs> Get your boosts in, people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, big right hand from Rick. Oh, -ho! and sends Night Demon the outside. Oh, boy. Oh, they're back. The timekeepers are back. Well, the timekeeper and Jojo. Oh. Getting some Jojo, of time. course, I expect this from Jojo. She can endure the onslaught of Bray Wyatt each day. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I was just saying, some, some brief from the Bray Wyatt onslaught. In, in, incredible condition. <laughs> yeah, Peppered Biscuit. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, that's <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. To be fair, the, the best physique in, in GFW is Lemon. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you may not like it, but that is what peak male performance looks like. 100%. Oh, look at that. Night Demon was taunting in the corner. And what's this from Rick? Oh, wow. Wonderful crossbody there. Oh, tosses off Night Demon again. Rick looking very casual compared to his GFW Mania appearance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's, uh, you know, that was a special, special occasion, wasn't it, the Iron Man? Uh, it'd be unfair, I guess, if he took on. It's, I mean, one might say it might be unfair in, the, in, in general. I, I want to see rules, paragraph 23, subsection 3C. <laughs> okay, Flicky, urgent, urgent call for Flicky Flack. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Rick can't knock down Night Demon, and again. Bezel, the guy in the invisible chair, is quite possibly your next GFW World Champion. He's an absolute <laughs> unit. <laughs> yep. Oof, the stun from Rick. Night Demon hasn't really got any offense in at all yet, has he? Which is very surprising. Yeah. Usually Night Demon is just crushes people. He does. Rick not giving him an inch here. Well, I mean, depending on the position of the camera, you might be giving him several. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Daily Ferrero Rocher, that's it for us. Oh, there's the <laughs> counter. Chairproof! <laughs> Maybe he was! <laughs> 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 a relative of Dibby, perhaps. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> Moradam's called it. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. What a move from Night Demon. Oh, these vicious knees. Oh. When one isn't enough, <laughs> give them four. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm waiting for that uh, Snapdragon suplex that he likes to execute. Yeah, look at this. Whew. He does like that. He always, he loves the zombie though, doesn't he? He does love it. Oh, and this this uh, whatever that's the called. Falcon Arrow. Falcon Arrow is it? And here we go, zombie. Ooh, I hit a zombie up. He's ready to hit it. Boosh. Nails it. That's all she wrote. I don't know, it's Rick. If anyone can kick out of a zombie, there you go. You don't see that often, do you? You do not see that often. No, not at all, but Rick is Rick is something else. He's he's blood bowl. He's a fighting champion. He's gone for another. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, he's facing the hard cam. He, Professional. He delayed it. He, oh, he delayed it, yeah, he almost. Oh! Oh! oh my god. 2.99. Unbelievable. I think Theresa Men's push for production value may be cost him there. <laughs> yeah, maybe. If he, just, if he just hit that when he was ready. Yep. Oof. Putting the weight on his shoulders there. You may not be getting the three count. He's wearing him down bit by bit. Absolutely. Gouge the eyes. No more Mr. Nice. Oh boy. The crucifix. It's a Rick roll. The oh. crucifix power bomb. From Blood Bowl Jesus. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Smash him in the comments. He's, oh. Not content with that, he's going up top. Oh boy, what are we gonna see here? The Rick roll! The Rick roll! <laughs> Is this enough? Oh, oh no. no. Night Demon refused to lose. Oh. Big knee spits out the blood. Oh boy. He means business. What's this? I don't oh. think I've seen this before from Night Demon. Look at that. Look at the athleticism. Oh, just putting on a suplex clinic. He is. It looked like he knocked himself out there. <laughs> oh, oh, the heroic pen. <laughs> oh. oh, didn't get enough weight behind it. You need to pin those shoulders down. Yeah, yeah, he had to, didn't he? That was. I mean, it was all he could do to get to get an arm over him. To be fair, he could. He just it was is. so it exhausted. Is. Oh, bad time oh, to take wrong a Wrong time to take a breather, yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. Uh, it looked like Rick was heading towards the scorekeeper, but I thought better of it. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to tangle with that time. He was, he, was, he was making eyes at Giorgio. He wasn't bothered by Bray Wyatt, but when he saw the timekeeper, he's like, "Oh fuck this!" <laughs> oh no, this is that. Yeah, he's the he's the red boss. Oh god, he's just biting Rick's head. That Should head that was ref, busted ref, ref open. couldn't see it. Ref couldn't see it. Yeah, that head was busted open in CAB as well. Oh, oh god, there's the oh, zombie. Quick zombie. Caught him by surprise. Oh, this could be it. No, Rick no. has gone again. Unbelievable. Rick is it Rick Reckless or Rick Resilient? <laughs> Rick is a monster. Crossbody. Oh, oh, the rage from Night, Night Demon. He's frustrated. <laughs> yeah. Night Demon's a literal monster. Oh, the old boot to the head. His move's so brutal. This is the pin. Surely he's not. No, it takes more. You're not going to pin Rick off a normal move, but wearing him down. You know, oh, that's the I thing thought that was a trapezius claw there. I thought that was over. 
Oh, here we go. Crucifix power bomb. Oh, all the way up there. Oh, oh his head <laughs> against the ropes. That looks this like a concussion if he was alive. No, oh, that is. He it's gets over. Unbelievable. Well, it's how he ended. It's how he ended Mania. Is how he ends Stand Firm. The Crucifix Powerbomb. Dispatches Night Demon. It was a great match. Great performance from Night Demon. And just another Superman-like performance from Rick Reckless. <laughs> Rick, well, the sky's the limit for Rick Reckless. Absolutely. Wow. That's, uh, that's about all we've got time for tonight. So, um... What can I say? Thank you very much, Table Leg Wire, coming in with like zero notice, straight from the locker room. Thank you very straight much. Straight from Bean Manor. <laughs> I wasn't even supposed to be on the card. I got the call straight down. Thankfully, me and Bean, we go back a long way. <laughs> and uh, he lent me his private jet. What a what a gent. He's a he's a badass, isn't he? Bean, gotta love him. <laughs> love him, you must. <laughs> Right, thank you very much, uh, Table Leg. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>